What's going on? Welcome back to Fishing with Nordby. We just got out here to Mazingo Lake. Today, a huge storm is brewing. I don't know if you can see the sun's kind of covered by the clouds. But over here in the distance, we got some big dark rain clouds coming in. Chance of tornadoes. 100% severe heavy thunderstorms. So it's a good idea to be out here on the lake right now. A little windy. Hope you guys can hear me. Well, I got Nathan with me. We're going to go out, do a little pre-fishing. Hopefully the water temps have warmed up to above 60 degrees. It's been pretty nice the last few days. I got a tournament Sunday, so if I find any good spots, I'll fish them in the tournament. But we're gonna go out there, try to catch some, probably throw some moving baits with this storm moving in. The fish should be feeding, I hope. Let's go. We're gonna catch some good ones today, hopefully. Haven't gotten out to fish too much on Mazingo Lake this year, except for ice fishing. So I'm excited to see what we catch today. Hey! Don't fall! All right, I'm ready. To You're ready? Catch it launch. I hope so, dude. Mazingo has not treated us so hot, but we have not fished it too much. Last time we were out here, we were drop shot for crappie <laughs> and 35 foot of water. So. Today we're gonna fish shallow for some bass. Let's see what we got for the water temp. Oh, there we go, dude. 60.3 degrees. Wow. Oh, All right. Water temp is back up. We are looking good. We're gonna go make our way into the back of some coves, hopefully find some bass that are wanting to spawn and throw a lure at them. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Just got retied. Nathan's been chucking out on this point. But we're gonna get some fishing in. I'm throwing a black and blue chatter bait right now. Probably throw a little square bill. Let's see if we can catch something. Look at all these stumps that you normally can't see. Yeah, you probably can't see much of any of these over here. Normally not. Got one. Dude, he hit that thing so hard he knocked so much slack in it. Oh, toad, dude, toad. I thought I had just bumped over something because I got so much slack in the line. Wow, that is a giant. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's about. Wow, his gill is ripped off and he survived. No way, look at that. Dude. He's got a ripped off gill and he's still alive. What a giant. Yeah, here we go. Black and blue chatterbait. That is a good one, five pounder. Five pounder, baby. All day. Good bass. She was up there shallow right by these stumps. She smoked my chatterbait so hard I didn't even feel her eat it. She's up there wanting to spawn. Her tail's just starting to get red because the water's come up about six degrees here in Northwest Missouri in the last two days. Huge storm coming in. They're out feeding, ready to spawn. Anyway, let's get a good release on her. Oh yeah, see ya. Just nonchalantly swim away. That's a good one right there. That's so awesome. We're gonna keep fishing here. Finally caught a good one, way back in this cove. Main lake's at 58 degrees, and I'm sitting in 62.8 degrees right now. So it's warmer back here. These big mamas are moving up, wanting to spawn. Storm coming in, they're feeding. Let's go. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah. what the heck, so snagged up. I do not even see that. Like Nathan, <laughs> yeah, Nathan pointed out this snapping turtle, let's go check it out. It looks like a stick, dude. Like dude, it looks dead. I don't think it is, it's just chilling. Dude, he's so nasty, nasty brown. Let me pull up my trolling motor. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> wow, was it? Still catch a fish though. So. Right. Oh, hooked up. Good one. Oh, toad, dude. Heck yeah. Way back here in the creek. Another good one. Nice. On the jig. Whoa, On a jig. Baby. Three pounder, baby. Oh. Look how fat he is. Dude, he is so fat. So ready to spawn. <laughs> Big mama. Nice, man. Jig fish. Heck jig yeah. Fish. Give me some. Good jig. See ya. Lay some more bass for us. Oh my gosh. Soaked me, dude. Oh. 
<laughs> Look at what you got in your face. <laughs> All over me too. Wow. There's always a fish on the beaver dam. Oh, did you have a bite? Dude, how am I stuck? No way. I gotta fish the beaver dam. I'm gonna leave my lure stuck. Dude, my line shot so far to the right. It must have been a dink. Because it dropped it right as it felt me pull. Catch up, man. Oh, where I just cast? Oh, you have a fish. What do I have? You got a turtle, no dude. way. I got a snapping turtle. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't set the hook because it didn't feel like a bite. I hooked a snapping turtle, dude. Oh, no. oh I'm scared. Oh, he got, oh, he got my line. <laughs> no, not my chatterbait. Oh, oh shoot. the snapping turtle. Oh. No, he got off. Thank God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Chatterbait lives another day. Uh, dude, how did he not snap your line right there? I don't know. He bit my he line. He bit it, dude. A lot yeah, of times I, I see carp and I'm like, ah, frick. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my did you see him oh crush that dude, thing? That awesome. Oh, he's behind the tree. Oh. Maybe that was the best Dude. Toad, oh. man. Toad. Dude. I'm a boat flip him. You're boat flipping? I probably shouldn't. Are you sure? No, oh, I don't know. Right. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah! He's so fat! Six pounder, baby. We'll weigh this one. Dude, look how fat He's got to be close to six pounds. Wow. On the UV beaver. The whisker beaver, baby. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right, scale's in the middle here. Right here. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I just zeroed out the scale. We're going to weigh this fat mama. I bet she's five and a half, six pounds so fat five pounds six ounces all right just under five and a half pounds what a toad the belly on that fat mama is so big look at that fish gosh that is what it's about right there catching slaunches i don't know if you could see it this fish came all the way on top of the water made some ripples when it ate the bait right when it landed gonna get a release on her that way i can catch her on tournament day that is three good fish out of this cove two bass close to five pounds and nathan's three pounder see ya can't even hardly see the release on her the water's so murky but they're eating black and blue baits black and blue baits are always good using this murky water because they create more of a shadow and the fish can see them just a little bit easier there we go let's go catch another one okay just got the beaver rig back on here just a little texas rig three out hook Whisker beaver, I'll link these down in the description below. Great bait, I love throwing them in the springtime and just post spawn right after the fish spawned early June. We're gonna keep chucking them around, see if we can get another giant. Dang it. What is going on here? Dude, I got him. Dude, I have a fish on behind that tree. You really? Yeah, look, he's pulling. Oh, he came out. He's oh, behind that tree. Is it a good one? Oh, no, he's behind this tree now. No, no. Oh, he, oh, he got off. He got off, dude. He got off right there. Wow. Yeah, flung behind that tree. He was in there spawning. I got one. And they're trying to spawn. Oh, what just happened? I just bent my hook and it broke in the shank. Glad that happened before tournament day on a fish. Getting me out a new little whisk of beaver and a new hook because my hook snapped in half. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. There we go, split the tail. Oh yeah. Back at it. Second spot of the day is all. We haven't picked up the trolling motor except one time. Here we go. Frog togs and Gore-Tex combo. That's right, fishing with Norby. It is a little bit cooler that way since it's such a warm day out. I don't want to sweat too much in the Gore-Tex. Man, look at these trees Nathan just flipped into. Oh. The juice, man. I'm ready. The juice. Got a log jam. Oh, I thought you had one for a second. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not storming on us yet, just starting to sprinkle. Been out here for about an hour and a half, two hours and we're gonna keep going oh there he is ha <laughs> ha right next to that lay down baby wow 
my gosh. Fatty. He's small. He's only 14 inches. Look at that belly, though. Good little bass. He is peeing. Wow. He had to go. When you got to go, you got to go. Oh, there he is. There's one. Oh, he's behind a tree. There he comes. Oh, that's a good one. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to boat flip him. Oh. Oh, he about didn't make it. Giant. Giant black and blue beaver, baby. It's a good four, four and a half pounder. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that's three fish over four, one fish over five. Nathan has one that's what, three and, three and a half? half? Man, we got a good sack already. This female is red on the bottom. She's moving up. She's ready to spawn. That is awesome. Storm is rolling in. It is only 7.15 right now at night. We got an hour of daylight left, but I don't know if it's going to last that long. It is so dark out. See ya. Oh. Man, they're just so majestic today, dude. They are, dude. Oh, there's one. Nice. Oh <laughs> I told you the dinks no, were giant. My tails. <laughs> look how big he is, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hold him out further. <laughs> uh, oh, look at his eye. What's wrong with it? Oh, wow. Inverted. Whoa. That I, I don't even know if that's good anymore. He might be able to see out of that still. Weird, dude. That's why I was able to catch him. Yep. Couldn't see your bait. There was one spring like four years ago when the water was normal. I could come to this point, feel like a two week period with a Senko and catch at least one, if not two fours off of it. There's one. Oh, dude, dude. <laughs> as I told the story, I catch a four. Oh my gosh. He's probably three and a half. Stud, stud, man. Look at that. It's a male, dude. There's no eggs in this one. Yeah. That's a big male right there. Wow. The Good fish. Good fish, yeah. Female that's gonna spawn on that bed's gonna be huge. All right, good one. Three pounder, three pound daddy largy. Go make a big bed. It's getting dark, dude. It's, it's not nighttime yet, but it's getting dark. A storm and the thunder rolls. All right, we're gonna call it. We had a fun time. We probably caught about 21 pounds, our biggest five. We're gonna get off the lake. Thunderstorm warning, tornado warning. Uh, not oh my gosh <laughs> that lightning lit everything up but we're gonna get out of here it was an awesome trip i hope you can see me it's a little dark right now Woo! and we'll catch you next time on fishing with norby Good.